Hi, I'm Jim Martinelli from the Ericsson Aircraft Collection in Madras, Oregon, and this is our AD4 Sky Raider. Today we're making a safety video about the Sky Raider. First thing is, it's got a Curtis Wright R3350 engine, runs on 100 low lead avgas. It's got 270 gallons of avgas in the uh, center section at takeoff. It's got 32 gallons of oil right here in the accessory section. If this aircraft was on fire on the ground, you would want to make sure the propeller had stopped turning, approach the airplane from the wingtip in, and shoot the fire suppressant in uh, around the exhaust, the cow flaps, the oil cooler area. Uh, all of those areas are going to get into the engine and most likely where the fire is. If the propeller is stopped, you could shoot it through the front. If you happen to be observing this aircraft starting and you notice fire coming out of the exhaust pipe, not out of here, that's not a danger. Just make sure you inform the pilot to keep cranking that he has a stack fire do not approach the airplane and try to suppress the fire. So, as you approach the airplane, you'll notice it has doors on the side. There could, but most unlikely, not be people in here. Uh, during air show flying, we carry no people, but during uh, pleasure flying, we may have a passenger on board. To climb aboard the airplane, uh, you're gonna get oily just just go ahead and make that uh, known but you'd foot in here handhold here pull yourself up there's another handhold here handhold here and you can walk forward on the wing walk of the airplane foot in the side of the fuselage step up and into the cockpit so again, as we mentioned before, there is another door on this side of the airplane. Same operation, handle just rotates, door opens to uh, get anybody that's in here. Again, getting on the airplane, same as the other side, foot in the foot stirrup, handhold, pull yourself up, handhold, handhold, and you're up the side of the airplane. The canopy... Uh, opening closing emergency is only on the left side of the airplane so if you were to approach the airplane and the pilot was incapacitated and you need to open the cockpit from the outside of the airplane on the left side you'll see there's a handle here and it's clearly marked closed open manual there is no emergency it's just manual so if it was in this position you would go to the open and it should electrically open. If the canopy electric system does not open the canopy, bring the lever to the manual position and grab the handle on the side of the canopy and pull aft. Once you were able to access the pilot by getting the canopy open, whether electrically or manually, you would reach across the cockpit and you'll see here the battery switch. You would, it would be in the forward position for flight you would just pull it aft to disconnect power. Then you would reach over here to the fuel selector, which would be in the main position, and you would rotate to the off position. Throttle would be here, pull it back. Magnetos are here in front of the gear handle. You would turn them to the off position. At that point, the airplane is now dead, effectively you would grab this lever here pull like a standard military seat belt that would disconnect the seat belt and the shoulder harnesses at that at this point you're dealing with a standard parachute type harness where you lift undo the chest strap two crotch straps lift undo lift undo now the pilot's free of the parachute. In the event that it was an ultimate emergency, you could remove the pilot with the parachute still on since the parachute is not physically connected to the airplane. 
being since the Sky Raider is a tailwheel aircraft, there's the possibility of uh, running off the runway and flipping the airplane over. In a special circumstance, if, the air, if you approach the airplane and it was inverted, you would want to right the airplane by picking up on the tail. There would be multiple points here with the tail gear, the tail hook, things like that to hook a strap, chain to whatever, lift the airplane up to free the pilot. The batteries in the AD4 are located inside of this door underneath this panel.